Hello everyone and welcome to our Let's Play series of Ballroom. This is Colonel RPG as usual and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today. Always very happy to have you here as I play this fantastic game that I am just enjoying so much. What is that? Why are there palisades there? Where what looks like the remains... Oh, we got a reaver here? That's pretty cool. Right now we are in the road or on the road. Oh, that's not the reaver. It's the, um... Yeah, it's the, uh, the little, like... Yeah, that's right. So, yeah, we're on the road uh, that le will lead us to the village. Although the road kind of takes a long way around. It goes over there and just, I don't know. I don't, I'm not going to follow it right now. I'm just going to follow the lake. I'm just making this, this decision on the spot, making it right now. Because I want to see uh, if I can find something interesting. Because on my way back, and I'm just, I just want to keep to the edges of uh, the map as much as possible. Because if we go through the road and coming back... Oh, what is that? Uh, a larva. Diseased larva. I don't enjoy disease in general, and larvas are also not a thing that I am a particular big fan of, so... Yeah, not a big fan of in general. Okay, so that means that she is gonna come, or it... No! Okay, it is gonna come after me. Let's see if uh, Farnafus is gonna be able to do any sort of damage. Meaningful damage anyway, and uh, avoid me taking the damage instead. Okay. It looks... Oh, do I have Jerry? Is Jerry back here? No, Jerry's not here. The sound was similar, though, but Jerry's not here with us. Okay, yeah, that's the one. Okay, so I'm gonna come closer. I'm gonna stun it. Okay, so wait. There we go. Now blind it. Okay, Farnafus is dealing a little bit of damage. Not a whole lot, but still enough. And I think it is after me. Yes, it is. Oh, damn it. Okay, so no more. Let's come closer. Crit it. Gonna attack me, get away. Mm. Well, I'm not gonna I'm gonna keep I'm gonna, I'm I'm trying to save some my arrows. That's why that's why I did this. That's why I did this. But yeah, that probably was a terrible idea. But uh where are my gloves? My gloves are destroyed, aren't they? Where are they? Where are they? There they are. Mm-hmm. Okay, I can use these. It's fine. I need to repair all this crap. But for right now, I wanna eat. I wanna eat some apples. Full belly. I don't uh, press the X key. What's the X key do? Oh, it changes the mouse cursor. Yeah, I don't really know what that does. I don't remember what that does. So eat a little bit more. We got around. Could eat some berries. That's fine. Make myself well rested. We got a bunch of crap. No, go into the poison. We're all good. We're regenerating health as should be. And Farnafus is after us very, very slowly and not doing what we want. We really need a tiger or a wolf or something that runs fast. A cat would be amazing, but yeah. Well, dogs are fine as well. I like dogs as well. So, yeah. If I can tame a wolf, actually, to be fair, Farnafus is very handy. If I just endure his slowness, he's very, very handy. Just, is there anything in, in there? Nope. Uh, it's just that it takes so long to get to me. That's kind of a, a big issue. But if I, since I'm, yes, yeah, I'm doing this on my way there, it's probably going to be all right. I did not enjoy how... Oh! Oh, look at what! Oh, look at what we have there! A forest frog. Okay, forest frogs are cool. Uh, the treasure's chest is also very nice. I'm gonna try and uh, send Farnafus to mess around with a forest troll. Forest troll? No, fortunately, we don't have any of those. Forest frog. Yeah, I'm also regenerating a little bit more. Farnafus, come on, guy. Come on. Okay, so you're gonna attack that thing right there. I know, I know, it's ugly, but you can do it. Okay, 45. Okay, so it's far, far. Okay, another attack, and I shoot. There we go. Okay, so it's still attacking him, and I missed. I missed that. That is bad. Okay, so I'm gonna try and uh, stun it. If I can stand on the oh, a critical strike. Who was that for? Okay, if I can stand here and just avoid being attacked too much. Okay, so I, I think it's good. I think it was good. Okay. Farnafuzz is now down to almost no health, but it's okay. can heal him a little bit. And I want to go there. How do I go there? I got another frog right there. Okay. Farnafuzz, don't mess around with it for right now. Uh, why is there a... Why is there a candle? A, what? Why is that right there? It's so weird. Well, I can save scum this a little bit because I want to see what is in there. I have uh, these random teleport potions here that work relatively well even though they seem to teleport me away from where I want to go all the time yes I think it might be just like a, a random place and then cannot drink any more potions yeah that's why I need to save scum because this is just too run random 
I mean, this probably works very, very well inside a dungeon. Especially inside that maze that we were at before. Yeah, that would be good, but unfortunately... <laughs> teleports me right to the side, right to where I was. Okay, I, I'm i gonna mark it on the map. Um, Inaccessibopsum Eland. That's my English right there. I'm gonna understand what that is. It's all cool. It's all good. Farnifus, kill that thing. Kill that thing with your teeth and paws and yeah, this guy, this guy is friendly. I just don't know why I killed him. It's I'm so mean. I'm just so mean. Farnifus, what are you doing, man? Why don't you attack him? I know he's friendly, but you know, attack him. Okay. Uh, I think. Okay, we're good. Let's blind him. Okay, Farnifus is gonna go. Uh, come on, don't go for me. Don't go for me. We're good. Okay, teleport. Oh, why? Why are in front of us? Oh, we're good. We're good. Okay, so actually, if I crit him and I run away, oh, I'm poisoned. Oh, these guys are not to be trifled with. Oh, he stunned me. Okay, it's all good. It's all good. There we go. Let's check our. Yeah, fine. What do we get? Yeah, some stuff. I guess that would be pro. That the reason to kill these guys is probably for alchemical ingredients. I mean, those frog tongues are not gonna come out of nowhere, are they? Uh, so where are we going right now? We're gonna f oh, there's a point of interest there that I want to check out. So let's check. Oh, okay, that looks kind of eerie and uh, suspicious and also scary a little bit. Some bees there. That's fine. They don't attack us. We can take them home as pets. Not really. Three of them. Only three of them. Yeah. Of course they're they're gonna be like all stunned and whatnot. Oh, Farnifus, please don't please don't kill yourself because those look like traps. They kind of do look like traps. But I'm curious. I don't know how to that works, so let's... Oh! It's all good. It's all... Ooh! I got a bunch of arrows. Please don't kill yourself, Farnifus. A hay bale. That's cool. Well, the, uh, the recipe for one, anyway. Uh, and we got the Wrath of the Old God Part 2. Did we get this before? Farnifus, come here. Yeah, we're good. Uh, I don't know if you got this before. Let's look. Let's look. So we got this one here. We got this one there. The people are terrified. It has been three days since the last fires. We fear that the new onslaught is nigh. The architect has a plan. I agreed to meet him tonight. We have to consider every idea. Until then, we are going to keep trying to put out the remaining flames. I hope that whatever that yeah, whatever he's going to tell me, it will help us. It will keep you. Inf I will keep you informed, Your Eminence. Yeah, this has probably something to do with the overarching overarching. Uh, plot that I am yet not aware of. Still not aware of, so yeah. Okay, so where do we want to go now from here? I think we're on the right track. Uh, those, that's a candle, right? Oh. Uh, Fa Farnifus, can you please uh, stay stop? Yes, stay stop is what I want you to do. So, let's go in there again. I know. Oh, dumbass. Dumbass. Okay, we're good. Uh, so, swallow? Yes, yes, indeed. Is it getting nighttime? Hopefully not. Because, uh, well, I could I could hunt. Nah, and I don't want to waste my, my arrows. My food is not as valuable as my arrows, so, yeah. I'm just gonna... Because the arrows, I need to, I need to mine. I, actually, I need to make a, uh, a handvil back home. That way, I'm just gonna be able to craft arrows whenever I want. But until then... Until such a thing transpires, I won't be able to do that. I need to go back to uh, to some place that will sell. Actually, I think I should be able to. Farnafus, are you fine? Are you are you okay, man? What's up? Are you good? Hmm. Let's go that way. I think that's the way. There's yeah. I think that's the way there that to that uh, particular point of interest. And from there, if that's a village, that'd be nice. But I doubt that it's gonna be a village or even better, a blacksmith. Really, really. Oh, oh, it's a cave. Okay. I think it is a cave. Well, that is a cave. I don't know if that's the point in the map that I was looking at. Yes, it is. Okay, so let's just uh, get ourselves into a heap of trouble here. Okay. A crimson ring that increases strength. By the way, do I have... Uh, I have two phoenix rings that I have no need for, so... Uh, I have the nettle ring there that increases dexterity, so there we go. And I got uh, the crimson ring. I got two crimson rings. Rings. It's all good. Uh, I don't think I need to use the... Um, Phoenix ring with all the time, just, just when I need it, I just equip it, right? I, I mean, that, that kind of makes sense. Let's go down there and kill ourselves, or have somebody kill us. Okay. Hi! 
We got a cave crawler, a level 5 thing that has just silenced me. Am I gonna be able to do my abilities though? So, Farnafus, am I gonna be able to tell you to attack that thing? Okay. Uh, it has attacked me with the mail or the ranged attacks. I don't think it is. Okay. Okay, the. I failed that. I don't think this is a good idea for me to be here, to be honest. Let's try and stun it. Okay, the stun works. Okay, so. The damage that it does to me. He's considerable, but not immense. I, need, I really need to craft some proper potions now. What am I doing right now? I'm siphon life and bleeding. Okay, so let's take care of... Uh... Whoa! Do the healing potions not work? Oh, I, he I heal him instead. Oh, okay. So when he does that... Okay, so that, that explains things. Auto load, yeah. Uh, so when he does that... So Farnafus, can you go there? So you can tank him a little bit better. Because he's right there, okay. So Farnafus is going to attack that thing with a prejudice, hopefully. And that critical strike should make sure that he attacks me instead. Okay, so he's blind. That's good. It's not necessarily the best thing ever. Considering the fact that uh, he deals a lot of damage, even, even on ranged. And uh, actually, you know what? I think I should have fire arrows against these guys. Because I don't use them too much, and I should. Because this thing is going to deal a lot of damage. So hopefully it is. Uh, if I hit him, of course. Uh, okay, so a stun here. I miss, of course, the stun. Okay. Uh, I should, I should go. Yeah. Well, uh, the yeah, the fact that I can't heal makes it a little bit tricky, to say the least, of course. To say the least. Let's see. When did I save that? That quick load is good. So we're upstairs. Let's mark this on the map as something terrible. So, uh, crabs. No, the crabs from hell. Mark it right there. We're good to go. Yeah, see you later, cave. I won't be dealing with you today. I will keep on my merry way and hopes uh, in hopes that I find a blacksmith. Otherwise, I'm gonna need to go back home. I should have the uh, ing not ingredients. Is it the ingredients? I guess it is. I guess the materials required to make an anvil. Oh, we're at the edge of the map. That's good. That's really good, actually. Mm -hmm. Because that means that we are. Uh, we should explore that that part over there a little bit more, shouldn't we? We got a rock there. We got a bear. I got a bear there. Okay, so let's take care of the bear. And then we are going to the north, or actually to that place. So that's the west. So see if the bear is angry at me. Hey, man. I'm f no, okay. So Farnafus, can you deal with that thing? I, uh, I would be really glad if you did. Because I'm just going to kite you guys. Or kite him. There we go, that critical strike should keep his interest pinned on me for a little bit. Let's pick this from the floor, and... Oh boy, I'm stunned. Uh, okay, I'm, I keep going. Okay, so another crit right there. That's my, that's gonna be my play, of course. And also we need to rest. I haven't rested yet out in the wild yet, so... Okay, that line there is gonna make sure that he doesn't attack Farnafus too often, because Farnafus is, quite honestly, taking a little bit of an, a beating. So, if I can avoid him dying, that'd be a good thing. If I can't, that's, that's a good thing as well. I mean, it doesn't matter. As long as this big guy dies, let's zoom in a little bit better. And he's a grizzly bear, right? No, that's a black bear, and that'd be a, a grizzly bear. I don't know my bears. I don't... Yeah, I have no idea. I know what the teddy bear is, but apart from that, I mean, I suppose that's a black bear. It could be, like... It, that could be the grizzly. I don't know. Okay, so time for another critical, 200 this time around, so a couple more, and we should be fine as long as Barnabas, or Farnabas, not Barnabas, I know he, they kind of have similar names, but there you go, a little bit more damage, another critical, and we are good. Another critical, after this one, I mean. Okay, actually, you know what, I'm gonna go face to face against this guy. Let's kill him, kill him, there we go, perfect. I don't know what happened there, where Bear Roar, I don't know what a Bear Roar is. I don't care. So, should we camp here? Create campfire. Oh, it's pretty cool. Uh, place down torch. Oh, build tent. Oh, that's right. Allows me to sleep out in the wild. It's pretty cool. Let's let's do that. Let's do that. We haven't done that yet. We need some leather and some wood. Actually, I I'd rather keep my my yeah, we'll keep that around. So, let's rest until morning. What was that over there? It said something up there. I didn't see. I know you're dehydrated. It's all good. Just drink. 
Drink your fill there. That's right. That's right. Okay. So now let's. Uh, why do you carry a bucket of water? Oh well, you could drink from the bucket of water, but I suppose. Uh, let's see. Some eat some pears, I guess. Hunger fifteen percent. It's about the same thing. Uh, uh, raw chicken. I have. I don't have any fireplace. I know how to create it though. Speaking of which, let's see if I can create my. Press the right key, by the way. Uh, create my anvil. The thing about the reason why I haven't created my anvil yet is because I want I really want to build my house the house I've, I've been telling you about so and the anvil if it's not very expensive I might as well just create it to be honest because there's no there's no point in delaying it any further it's not here so it's, oh man we're getting a bunch of different stuff now aren't we we got that uh, that hearth hearth right there a fireplace that's what it is I don't know how to pronounce that word it's weird to me. Just learned it like two years ago, that word, and I was like, what the hell? And I, the first time I heard it, actually, I think it was... I, I must have heard it before, but, you know, really learned this meaning. I think it was when Hearth, Hearthstone came out, and I was like, what the hell is Hearthstone? It makes no sense to me. But, yeah. Okay, so that's the anvil right there. What does it require? It's got some... I need some coal. But apart from that, it's not too expensive. I mean, the iron bars is a bit of a problem. So, uh, no. See you later. See you later, Anvil. I will try to make my way towards um, Kaiden's village, whatever the name of that village is, without uh, without you, I suppose. Yeah, I, I, I guess. I, I'm going to do it off camera, though. I need to create that that um, that uh, house that I've been talking about all this time. I'm going to do it in a few episodes, though. Not this one. Not this one. And not after the next one. Maybe after the other one, after this one. Oh, after the next one, I mean. So up here, what do we have? Some stuff. We have a wisp that I still don't know what the powers of is or are. Yeah, I get myself into such... Ooh, what is that? Swamp golem? Oh, no, sir. I will see you later. Let me mark you on the map, though. Uh, swamp golem. Yes, with a U. Because uh, that's right. I know what I did. I did it on purpose. I am being honest right now. I realize I could be lying right now to pretend that I was being honest but I was really being honest and again anyway let's not yeah <laughs> oh boy anyway now I'm gonna just follow the edge of the map I think oh what is that some frog okay let's not attack that frog right now uh, so let's follow the edge of the map to the village and from there yeah should be able to uh, to find my way there uh, so yeah from from the edge of the map Ooh, we got some some stuff in here I assume um, and yeah, from there we're gonna be able to do this quest, this main quest thing that we are looking for. Actually, what is the quest? Uh, I should take Fleming's armor to Arryn for repairs. Yes, I know. I don't know where Fleming is, though. I, did I mark it on the map? I didn't. Of course I didn't. I think he's over there, though. I'm gonna look for him. It's fine. Um, yeah, but from there, so our objective is... Wilson thinks that Kyler might know what Arlo was all about. Okay, so yeah, Kyler is the leader of the village, so we're gonna talk to him and rat out our leader, or the leader of our village, anyway. And, oh, I see you. Uh, level 3 larva right there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Do I have arrows? Should I... I do. I do have arrows. So shoot that one. It's a diseased mod. No, it's a normal one, so I'm just gonna hang around, pick up some... Oh! Okay, so Farnafus, can you can you deal your thing? Can you do your thing, man? Okay, he knows. He kn oh, I walked right into that one. Okay, he knows his thing. I am just gonna walk into this one, stun it, and then crit it. Can I? Crit nope. Oh, right, wrong. Key. Okay, so fine. Farnafus is gonna be dealing a little bit of damage right there, but it's all good. These things don't hurt me, but when that thing dies, it blows up. So I might as well stand clear. There we go. Front of us didn't die. Fantastic. I will heal him, though, because he's kind of uh, poisoned. A little bit of poison. It never hurts anybody. Unless he does, in which case that sentence is totally wrong. But anyway, let's keep going. Let's not say anything about that nonsensical stuff that just came out of my mouth. What is that? What is that? Why is that a thing? A little stone right there? Mm-hmm. Let's pick some apples. Can I pick some apples? Those are the apples right there, but there's there's more apples down here. I see them. There they are. Okay. I really wish I could I could plant, because there's a bunch of stuff that I could plant. It's just curiosity, though. Not really necessary for the gameplay. 
really not necessary. Actually, I was kind of surprised. I don't need to buy food or anything, even though I don't. I'm not growing it or anything. I'm just picking apples left and right, and yeah. I don't know the game. I think this game would benefit from. Uh, I think the mechanics are pretty good, but it would benefit from not having a, such a fast sleep uh, day night cycle. I am a fan of, of long day night cycles, to be fair, especially only in games that allow you to sleep. In games that don't allow you to sleep, that's not I'm, that doesn't work at all. But um, yeah, in this game, it would be a good thing, you know, if you, if you needed like an hour to get through a day instead of like 20 minutes or whatever it is right now. I don't really know, but yeah, I think it would be better. It will allow you to have to eat like a couple of times a day and not just when you wake up because that's pretty much what I do, I think. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it is. Um, drink the same thing and basically all you need. Should I? Yeah, what is that? I don't know what that is. I wanted to see what that is. Next time, next time. Okay, let's cook some things because we have some things. Okay, okay. And okay, I think you can cook everything at the same time. It doesn't really use up uh, more wood Let's see. Let's just keep an eye on the meat You can actually keep an eye on the meat and just see so for example, these ones are t turning a nice uh, Brown or red. I don't really know the color of that. It kind of looks brown to me But brown and red basically those are the same exact color. There's no difference. It's, it's a shade of red it's, Brown is a shade of red. So it's that's why it's so weird so we hear the magical sound of a handvil! Amazing, amazing, and we all- Ooh, this is- Where are we right now? Are we in the place? Oh, hallelujah! We are in the place! This is the village! Why didn't I see this before? Let me press Alt so I can see Bingham. Bingham is a young man who lives alone in his big house. He is one of the strongest men in the village because his job is to chop up firewood. Although we are a of a similar age, we have never really liked each other. So do you know him? Yeah, okay, I'm looking for work. Do you need any help? Thanks, Ad Ad Atticus. Yes, I need help in a personal matter. Atticus, is that my name? What kind of matter? Do you know Alfreda, the beautiful woman who makes the best soup in the village? Well, I've met her once, but I can say I know her more deeply. Oh, she's a wonderful woman being... Human being, I, I meant. You are, you are uh, missing out. You should get to know her better. Now, back to my problem. I have been in love with her since... What? Why is she trying to pin her on me if she's in love with her? Anyway... I just, it makes no sense. Anyway, <laughs> now back to my problem. I've been in love with her since the day I first laid eyes on her. Needless to say, I'm really shy when it comes to women. I want her to know how I feel. Could you be my messenger? No, but I guess I don't really have a choice. Of course. What's your message? Tell her that I uh, think she's the most beautiful being in the wall of ballroom. Can you tell her that? Would you do that for me? Is that a bad idea? Uh, well, you need to start somehow. I'll give you your message, Bingham. Uh, if, isn't she uh, a little old for you, though? Old? Nonsense! Thank you for doing this. I'm so excited. Okay, so really? Is it she really that old? I mean, a couple of decades fine. Especially if he's, if he's young. It's like, I mean, right? I don't know. Can you teach me a new recipe? No, you can't, because I don't have the necessary... Um, I don't really know. Let me sh see what you have for sale. Oh, we can buy stuff. That's good. Although, I don't really want to sell anything for the cheap because it doesn't really have that much money so yeah I could buy a few things perfect pine wood right there that's pretty cool yeah you go on your way Pingham that's why you live alone in a big house I don't want to go in there but I kind of want to because there's treasure uh, not right now with the jury in there that's for sure I want to walk into I knew, I don't, I'm not gonna make any dirty jokes right there oh spotless metal bar in there why Hugh Hey man, Hugh is the blacksmith in Kyler's village. He's a good friend of Aaron. Sometimes they meet for a drink, and every once in a while even work together. Hugh is always um, experimenting with something. Usually, his experiments turn out really bad. So what are you working on? I guess you saw my crystal in the main hall. I'm trying to figure out what kind of healing powers these crystals have. You know these crystals can heal the crystal golems? I found an old document regarding the golems and the crystals. The document describes the golems and the crystals relation. I doubt you've ever seen one in your whole life. They are wondrous creatures. As you might have figured out, I am a blacksmith. I think I can forge magical, magical weapons with the use of these crystals. He's a little bit touched in the head, that's why he speaks like that. What kind of magical powers would a weapon have with these crystals in it? The main purpose of these crystals is healing, so I imagine the weapon would have some kind of healing power. When will you try to create a weapon with crystals? Right now? I I don't have the necessary... Oh, actually, yeah, he does not say, he's not saying that he's gonna create it right now. Right now, I don't have the necessary ingredients for a decent weapon. Could you bring me ten lumps of iron ore and uh, five lumps of silver ore? Oh, and I will need two flawless deer skins too. Okay, no problem. I, can I have the weapon after you're finished with it? 
Why, of course not. If you want a weapon, then you should bring twice as much as I told you. Fine, I'll bring you everything you need. Okay, so I need to bring him a bunch. That's fine. Uh, so I can learn to craft weapons. That'd be a nice, nice thing. But I don't think I need that for for my character, to be honest. I think I only need carpenter or carpenter uh, for for the uh, the bows. Kind of makes sense. Uh, so yeah, I think that's only for you know daggers and swords and whatnot. Those are the crystals that we've seen before. Can you teach me a recipe? Uh, he tell what door handle is probably gonna be needed. I'm gonna learn that. I, I've been delaying it far too long. Uh, you, come here, man. Uh, I need to repair my all my items. Yes, yeah, repair all. That's what I do right there. And I also need to sell them to you back. Or, back to you. Oh, so excuse the hiccup right now. A massive hiccup just came up. Um, yeah, I hope you didn't hear that. Anyway, <laughs> it's kind of nasty since I'm so close to the microphone and whatnot. So, I think that's, yeah, that's the one. Okay, so let's sell him uh, the kitchen knife, the old sword, the shiv. And uh, I got a dance bow here, just, you know, just in case. So sell that. Okay, and then armor-wise, I got a couple of leather vests. Actually, I should focus, yeah, on cheap stuff. So let's see, we got ourselves here a rusted leather chain things, or chainless crimson pants. That, uh, that Those are actually pretty cool, but mm -hmm, I need to sell them because they are cheap. Ash amulet modifies dexterity. Why am I not using that? Do I have another one? I might have another one and I don't remember. Oh, that's the sword. Okay. Um, nettle boots, I'll sell them. Let's see. What do we have? What else you can... Oh, dirty pants. Sell those. Uh, I don't know what these do. What these does. It probably doesn't do that. And it's too inexpensive for that. I have no idea what that is. Um, don't want that. Don't want to sell that right now. Ooh, hardened leather belts. Uh, sell. Actually, don't sell because I don't really know what... Uh, this requires six base dexterity? These are really nice, then. Keep them around. Uh, okay, so sell the crappier stuff, then. Sell these two, and if he... He doesn't buy that, actually. Uh, it's fine. It's okay. I'm just gonna equip my nice gloves, and we are gonna continue exploring this village. Uh, let's see, did I get a... That's, which one is it? Uh, the muddy leather boots. Okay, so why am I not wearing that? Why is that? Dexterity by one. This one requires dexterity. Yeah, I should sell that, but it's fine. Oh, I'm starving. I didn't see that. Why am I starving? Oh, I didn't eat properly? Did I? I probably didn't eat properly. Let's eat this vegetable dish. That's gonna take care of our, uh, fat. It's not, actually. Oh. Okay. Well, I have enough food around, so I just just eat. Don't overeat, though. Because uh, that, that's bad, bad news. I'm pressing tab right now. I'm, I'm pressing the wrong keys. Uh, so, Simon, how's it going? The workers here seem to be working day and night. Most of them must be well past their 40th birthday. All of them have dirty hands and they all look tired. Uh, the man overseeing them is Gosfried. People say Gosfried, Gosfried works uh, them really hard, although he never worked a single day in his life. I'm talking to Simon right now. Is he Go Simon Gro Gosfried? Hmm. Well, greetings. I'm looking for work. Do you need any help? We're always looking for help. That merciless bastard Gosfried works us too hard every day. If something breaks down, we run and fix it, and if all is quiet, we need to work on the fields or chop down wood or mine some stone all day long. We can never rest, just like before Darkwood. It was our boss outside, and he's our boss now in the woods, too. We thought that we might get another chance in Darkwood, but no. How can I help? In the beginning, the work was not that hard. I mean, we're used to, to it, but now, years later, we're getting old. We simply cannot do the same amount of work like 10 years ago. If you are really looking for something do, to do, you could try to convince Gosfried that we have to work less and rest more. We cannot promise anything of value to, for you uh, for your time, only our sincere thanks. Okay, uh, I'll try to speak with Gosfried. Thank you, young man. I'll tell the boys of your kindness. Okay, so... I want to know that, yes. Teach me about mining and smelting. And uh, I think we are also out of time for the day. So let me just steal everything I can from Yuke's place. And uh, I'll see you in the next episode. For now, I'm Colonel RPG. And this has been Ballroom. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video. But above all, thank you so much for watching. And I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.